hello you are welcome how to solve this nice math problem involving square roots from here what is given which is 27 raised to power root x equals to square root of 2 uh, 43 raised to power x from here we can rewrite this side as the square root same thing as root a same thing as a raised to power half that is here now is let's just remove 27 raised to power root x then equals to here will now be 243 raised to power x then raised to power half then from the law of indices a raised to power n raised to power n is equal to a raised to power mn so also from here this multiplied and this becomes 27 raised to power root x now equals to 243 raised to power x over 2 then here let's change root side to half in base which is base 3 then 27 can be written as 3 raised to power 3 that is 3 multiplied itself 3 times then raised to power root x then equals to here 243 also can be written as 3 raised to power 5 3 multiplied itself 5 times then raised to power x over 2 from here then also applying this law of indices multiplying this power and this becomes 3 raised to power a root x now equals to 3 raised to power 5x over 2 and from the law of indices when the two sides are having the same base like we have a raised to power n equals to a raised to power n here we can equally say n is equals to n so from here we have 3 root x now equals to 5x over 2. Then here, when we multiply both sides by 2, that is 2 cancel out there, then this becomes 6 root x now equals to 5x remain here. Then from here, let's square both sides to remove this square root. Square everything here, then square everything here. Then from here, when we have a, b, a raised to power n. This from the law of indices is a raised to power n, then times b raised to power n. That is this power affects the two numbers there. So it implies that here we have 6 square, then root x square, and also equals to here we have 5 square, then times x square. And here 6 square means 6 times 6, which is 36. Then square cancel square roots, that means x, which is 36x. Then also equals to here 5 square, 5 times 5, which is 25. Then times here we mean x squared. Then what we have here, we can take 25 or let's remove this 36x to that side. Then this becomes 25x squared minus 36x now equals to 0. Then factor what is common here and then that simply x out. Then we have 25x minus 36x, then equals to 0. Here we have two possible cases. That this x equals to 0, or we have 25x minus 36 equals to 0. Here x is already equal to 0, and here we have 25x equals to 36 now. Then divide both sides by 25. Then 25 cancel each other here. And this remains x equals to 36 over 
25. So here we have the second solution. We have x equals to 0 there. And we have x equals to 36 over 25. Now, let's check on what is given, which is 27 raised to power root x and equals to root 243 raised to power x. Now, for x equals to 0 from here, when we substitute 0 here, this becomes 27 raised to power root 0 here equals to here we have root 243 raised to power 0. Then, root 0 there is still 0, we have 27 raised to power 0 equals to here. 243 raised to power 0 is 1 as 8 raised to power 0 is 1. Any number raised to power 0 is 1, so we have root 1 here. Then here also, this is 1, which is equal to root 1 is 1. So left hand side equals to right hand side. Hence, x equals to 0 here satisfies this given problem. Then also, checking for the second solution, which is x equals to 36 over 25. Here, what we are given then becomes 27 raised to power root x, where x is now 36 over 25. Then, is it equals to 12 root of 243 raised to power x, which is now raised to power 36 over 25. Then, when we Simplify this, we can separate this. That is, we have 27 now is raised to power root 36 over root 25. Root 36 is 6, and root 25 is 5. Then, if this equals to here also, we can write square roots as raised to power half, and here this becomes 243 raised to power 36 over 25 then or raised to power half from here then from here this is 27 raised to power 6 over 5 is this equals to 243 raised to power this power multiplies 2 year 1 so 2 year this is 18 and here that remains 18 raised to power sorry 2 for 3 is 18 over 25 and here let's change both sides to have this 3 from there so this 27 is 3 raised to power 3 that is 3 multiply itself 3 times then raised to power 6 over 5 here now is it equal to here this is 2 raised, 3 raised to power 5 that is 3 multiply itself 5 times then which is raised to power 18 over 25 now here when the power multiplies let's write it somewhere here so when the power multiplies here we have 3 raised to power 3 times 6 that's 18 over 5 then is it equals to here this power multiplies here, we can say 5 here 1, 5 here 5. And that is also 3 raised to power 18 over 25. Which is left hand side equals to right hand side. And also hence x equals to 36 over 25 satisfies this given problem. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class and bye for now.